All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakhak Kodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this lesson is going to be entitled, The Wicked Shall Not Go Unpunished. The Wicked Shall Not Go Unpunished. All right, now. This saying, which is a scripture, and I'm going to pull a few precepts that I jotted down. The wicked shall not go unpunished. First off, the wicked, the sons of the wicked is Esau, okay? The so-called white man. You have three sets of men. You got the sons of man, which is the, the other nations. You have the sons of the wicked, which is Esau, okay? And you have the sons of the living power, which is the Israelites. And the wicked... Okay, which Esau, you know, which is the biblical uh, nationality name, all right, originally uh, 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 given to so-called white people, or Esau, Edom, all right, but today you call yourself Caucasian, you know, because you come from the Caucasus Mountains, all right, you call yourself white because you lie and say that you're pure, and you're not, and, um, you know, wicked, wicked, the wicked, all right, every morning, you know, I wake up and, you know, I say to myself to get my day started is that the wicked will not go unpunished, you know, and um, I kind of didn't, uh, you know, purposely uh, uh, strive to say that every morning to myself, but because of the, because of the troubles and because of uh, this society, you know, every day we wake up. You know, we put up a prayer, you know, every day we go to sleep, we put up prayers, man. All through the day, we putting up prayers. And those that are the elect of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, we always praying. And um, mornings, I wake up, I say to myself, the wicked will not go unpunished. And um, yesterday, I had a conversation with someone, and they spoke about how this person, you know, that did wrong to them, and, you know, not only did wrong to them, which was a family member, but cursed, you know, basically stride, well, excuse me, you know, even uh, cursed out there what they believe in, you know, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And uh, this happened, the conversation was yesterday, but the issue happened beginning of this year. And now that person, which was the evildoer, had just got judged, you know, not nothing too uh, severe, but, you know, now the tables are turning. And that just proves, you know, I said to the person that just proves, there you go. That's That should be, you know, your faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. To know that vengeance belongs to the Lord, you know. And the wicked will not go unpunished. Because ultimately, the wicked is going to be destroyed. All right. Starting with Esau, even down to you wicked Israelites, which the Lord numbered you to as the two-thirds. Okay. The third and fourth generation that hate the Lord. Okay. The wicked will not go unpunished. You know, you can be an evildoer today, and then tomorrow, you know, you in the ground. Okay? Now, you know, you have um, scoffers, all right? You got those that misuse the prophets, that slander, that despise this truth, you know, that create lies. You reap what you sow. That's scripture. That's nature, okay? You reap what you sow. What you put in is what you get out. If you reap and you sow in righteousness, all right, you will receive what a righteousness reward. But if you reap and sow wickedness, you won't receive a wicked reward. And also, you know, you got to keep in mind, I'm a little everywhere. I'm just trying to get my thoughts out. Um, the wicked, you know, sometimes the Lord, you know, we put up our curses. The Lord, you know, he do it quick. You know, I know for me. But um, sometimes, in, all, in not all cases, you know, the Lord, he you know, he gets them in his on his time. You know, when it's probably months later, could be the next following year. You know, it could be a few weeks, could be two. Hey, the wicked is not going unpunished, and ultimately, you know, if the wicked is not being punished quickly, it's because they be, they're being reserved. All right, they're being reserved uh, for the day of evil which is the wrath of the Lord. And um, real quick, I want to look up the word reserve, you know, just 
quick, quick, quick definition. Reserve, meaning. This is a uh, reserve in the, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Google, quick Google search. It says slow to reveal emotion or opinions. Kept specially for a particular purpose or person. Now that's the one we want. It says kept specially for a particular person, a particular pur pur purpose or person. Let me read it again. Kept specially for a particular purpose or person. So judgment is in, is, is kept, all right, uh, particular for a purpose for that person. Just like salvation is reserved unto the what? The elect, which is uh, particular for that, purp that pur purpose and person, all right? Reserved. Now, I wanna um, get a few precepts. And uh, I'm gonna start with Job 21. Start at Job 21. This is Job, the book of Job, chapter 21, and I start at 18. I'm gonna read into it. It says, "They are as stubble before the wind, and as the shaft that the storm carrieth away." Yahweh layeth up his iniquity for his children; he rewardeth him, and he shall know it. Exactly. You know whether the Lord reward you righteously or he reward you with a with a with a with a grievous destruction you're going to know that it came of the Lord and um another reason why you know the Lord you know I was just say you know the Lord don't uh destroy the wicked as fast because he reserves them all right he reserving them for that glory which he's going to receive in the earth all right he's going to reserve them for that almighty destruction so it says Yahweh layeth up his iniquity for his children. He rewardeth him, and he shall know it. His eyes shall see his destruction, and he shall drink of the wrath of the Almighty. For what, it says, for what pleasure have he and his house after him when the number of his months is cut off in the midst? Shall any teach Yahweh knowledge, seeing he judgeth those that are high? One dieth in his full strength, but woolly at ease and quiet. His breasts are full of milk, and his bones are moist, moistened with marrow. And another dieth in the bitterness of his soul, and never eateth with pleasure. They shall lie down alike in the dust, and the worm shall cover them. Behold, I know your thoughts and the devices which ye wrongfully imagine against me. All right, so the Lord knows the, uh, the, the, your thoughts. He knows your devices and what you wrongfully imagine against him. And Yahweh Shai said it best. He said, it's not, they, it's, it's not them they hate if it's they hate if the one that sent me, you know. So that applies to us brothers that are following Yahweh Shai and standing stiffly for his name until he return. Because it's not really them they hate us. It's really they hate the, the Heavenly Father and they hate Yahweh Shai, all right? That that basically set us up, okay? That gave us this gospel, gave us this truth, and told us to what? Go out there and, and teach and prophesy. All right, let me read that again. It says, um, behold, I know your thoughts and the devices which you wrongfully imagine against me. So as a brother, you know, and as a woman, you know, a sister, you know, I'm just say women that are the sisters of the elect, you know, when you being done wrong, by someone in the world, family member, and then, you know, you catching hell, you know, don't worry about the wrath or the vengeance because the, because the scriptures say vengeance belong unto the Lord. And the Lord said here, behold, I know your thoughts and the devices which ye wrongfully imagine against me. For ye say, where is the house of the prince? And where are the dwelling places of the wicked? Exactly. All right. It says, have ye not asked them that go by the way? And do ye not know their tokens? Because think about it. You know, a wicked man, you know, when you get older and you know you're not in high school and you have dealt with life a little bit, you know, you have your own place, car, whatever. You have some experience in the world being an adult. You know the path of a wicked man. You know, for an example, when you got a nigga out here that's out here hustling, 
and I mean a, 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 a wrongful hustle, you know, out here selling drugs, guns, you know, murdering, killing, you know, out here in the streets, you know the tokens, you know the, the path of that person in which the outcome going to be. Either he going to be shot dead in the street, all right, or he's going to be, you know, he's going to get robbed, or he's going to be dead, man, or he's going to be in jail, okay? You know the path of that, just like a whorish woman, you know, a woman uh, jumping from man to man, you know the path eventually leads to what? Destruction. You know, she getting pregnant by multiple men, you know, having adulterous sex. Uh, well, yeah, adultery, of course, having laying, women laying down with different men, but having adultery, uh, bringing forth children out of adultery, you know, got children, got, you got four kids by four different men. You know, you it might lead you to getting a, a, a plague, which is a disease. You know, you might even get HIV, AIDS, you know, uh, shit. You might even get raped or strangled and killed because you're a whorish woman, you know? So we can count the paths of the wicked. All right, so let me read that again. It says, behold, I know your thoughts and the devices that ye have wrongfully imagined against me. For ye say, where is the house of the prince? And where are the dwelling places of the wicked? Have ye not asked them that go by the way? And do ye not know their tokens? That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction? They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. All right, so being an evildoer, you know, being a, um, you know, a wicked man, a wicked woman, the Lord is what? Reserve you to the day of destruction. And that destruction could come by in the way of a car accident, that destruction could come by in the way of a bullet. That destruction could come by the way of Jacob's trouble. You know, you know, it's important that the Lord, you know, do what he do. You know, he said, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. We don't know every little thing and step the Lord may take. But we do know what prophecies to watch and know what time we're living in. So when the Lord do what he do, it's all for a purpose. It's all for a reason. Okay. Just like he reserved the wicked. You know, this person may be a fucking evildoer. At your job and you know giving you hell and shit or whoever it is what they doing to you the lord could be reserving them to take that mark take that mark of the beast which is the rfid microchip you know and you'll see them back around again because remember the scriptures say uh uh, uh he will he will recompense tribulation to those that trouble you man you know so like i said man you know be waking up every morning and first thing to come in my mind is that the wicked will not go unpunished all right, you gonna get dealt with, man. It's just a matter of time. Vocab Malone, G Man, all these whole, all these uh, grape juice drinkers, okay, these uh, so-called Christians out there, you know, that that come that come against the men of the Lord, you know, that make mockery of this truth, you know, that blaspheme the name of the Lord, that laugh and mock, you know. Hey, your day gonna come, cause you're not gonna go unpunished. All of us are gonna be judged, man. And matter of fact, um. I got a few more presets, but I want to get an, another one. Let me get one real quick. This is uh, this is Second Corinthians chapter five verse ten. It says, "For we must all." appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, that every one may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. So the point is that we all got to come and meet our maker. We all got to see our Savior. Well, the savior of the Israelites, because it's Yahweh Shai that rules the earth. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So the wicked is not going to go unpunished. You Edomites, you're not going to go unpunished. To think that you got in the way with slavery, to think you can just move on, to think that you can just do whatever it is to the Lord's people while they're down and out. You know, you afford their affliction. The Lord, hey, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is not going to let the wicked go unpunished. And that goes down to our people as well. Two thirds of our people, man. You know, there's some evil motherfuckers out here, man. And, and, and Jake, the worst, your own people. Because the Israelites don't get along, man. <laughs> you know? They don't get along, man, because of the curses. So let me get another precept and stay on topic. Let's 
so I can uh, Proverbs 16 let's get that uh, this is um, this is Proverbs chapter 16 and 4 straight to the point it says the Lord Yahweh have made all things for himself yea even the wicked for the day of evil alright and ultimately that's the, the talking to about the Edomites he created them for the day of evil alright to that day of judgment which is the Lord Yahweh Shai coming back you know and taking this um this this kingdom from from you Edomites, all right? Because that's going to give glory and power to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and His name once again and forever is going to reign upon the earth, all right? From the north, west, south, and east, all right? From the north, from the eastern part of the world to the western part of the world. Okay, so I'm gonna read that again. The Lord Yahweh have made all things for Himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So someone that is simple may ask, well, why why would God hate? Why would God kill His people? That's the devil no the devil works for the most high and like i said the lord created the wicked because the heavenly father is a just weight he's a balance that's why he gave us a right and a left hand a right hand a left hand he created up he created down okay he gave us two eyes he gave us uh, a nose he gave us two feet two arms the heavenly father is a balanced scale everything is done in balance all right we went off as a nation, the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites went off as a nation. And for our correction, the Lord allowed the wicked to whip our ass, man. And right now, Jake, you're getting your ass whooped. Okay? So, I'm going to read it one more time. The Lord have made all things for himself. Notice it said for himself. All right? Because it's the glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. All right? So, the wicked is not going unpunished. Just because someone don't get judged right away, hey, that's scary. Because the Lord could be setting you up for what? A famine. You can die of a grievous death. He could be setting you up for an unknown beast to destroy you, man. You know, he could be setting you up for a chariot to zap your ass, man. You know, one of the Lord's angels taking, taking hold on you, man. You know? So, hey, concentration camps, a pestilence, you know, which is a airborne diseases that's coming. You know, all of these things that's coming... Is, is ugly, it's, it's nasty, man. And if you're not uh, in the right spirit, then what? You're gonna be judged for your reward, which you which you reaped, you know, which you sowed in the earth, man. All right, which is wickedness. So um, let me uh, get Second Peter's, let's get that one. Uh, this is Second Peter's chapter two, verse nine. Hold on, it's locked in. All right, this is 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. This is straight to the point. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. So the Lord know how to reserve your ass and keep your ass, you know, in that state of mind so he can judge your ass. All right? That's why the Lord have blinded two-thirds, man. He don't want them to get the hill. He don't want them to repent. Because they got to play out their judgment. Somebody got to be the wicked. All right. And I'm talking of you Israelites. Somebody got to be the evildoer. You know. And then it has to be those that are the uh, righteous too. Just like as well it has to. Some some have to be wicked. Some have to be righteous. All right. But ultimately that wicked is Esau. But you two thirds. You niggas. You so called Latinos. All right. You native Seminole Indians. You West Indians. You are Israelites man. And majority of you are fucking wicked, man. Okay? So it says, uh, The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation. Now, the word temptation just means the desire to do something uh, wrong or unwise. The desire to do something wrong or unwise. All right? So the Lord know how to deliver the godly from temptation, from doing something wrong or something unwise. The Lord know how to stop them in his tracks. This is why we take consideration that our sufferings to take it cheerfully. Because you don't know what you was going to do four days from now. You don't know where you're going to be or what decision you was going to choose a week from now. So the Lord placed, he already knows these things, so he direct our steps. So then your step may not be, and there may not be a step where the Lord wants you to go that route. So he put a stumbling block before you, your car break down. You know, now you can't even 
uh, be on that side of the road, you know, when that time comes because your car ain't working. You know, all of these things are taken in consideration and cheerfully in your how about shot, you know? Because uh, the Lord, because the scriptures say, the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation. It says, and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. So a lot of you niggas are being reserved. And we already read what the word reserve was, which uh, reserve meaning. It means kept specially for a particular purpose or person. All right. So now let me get my next scripture, which I'm going to close on this scripture, Jeremiah 49. Let's go here. Jeremiah chapter 49. And I'm going straight to the point. Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 12. All right. It says, For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken and are thou and are thou he that shall altogether go unpunished thou shalt not go unpunished but thou shalt surely drink of it and that's talking to you Edomites all right because in the next verse in verse 13 it says for I have sworn by myself saith the Lord that Basra shall become a desolation a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. All right. So the Lord of it, you know, the Lord eventually is uh, not gonna let the wicked go unpunished. Everything is done in order, decently, uh, decently. Everything is in everything is done in order with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and done in reason and purpose. All right. So you being reserved. All right, for the day of evil, hey, that's because you are a wicked man or you are a wicked ass woman, you know. So, title of this video is uh, "The Wicked Will Not Go Unpunished." You just gotta keep in mind, man, that um, the wicked is not gonna go unpunished, man. You know, and that boosts my faith every day because it's gonna be truly a a, a joyful moment when the Lord recompenses tribulation to those that troubled you. You know, you got even women who uh, who left brothers in his truth, you know, and, and now they with other men that so-called believe in his truth. You adulterous assholes. You know, it's a lot of shit going on, man. And, um, you know, it's it's important for us to stay in the spirit of the Lord and continue to do what we're doing and keep putting up those prayers because the wicked will not go unpunished. All right. Hey, the men of the Lord have indignation as well. Indignation means righteous anger. We have a right to be mad. You know, in this God forsaken wicked kingdom of Esau here in America, he teaches you that you don't have a right to be mad. You know, you should just take it as you supposed to just take it. No, you can have indignation, which is righteous anger. Okay? You can righteously hate as well. Because the Heavenly Father righteously hate. Alright? So you know, with that, want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Bahashim Rakakwadash. Want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom. <laughs>